Hello, YouTube community. It's Robert S. and welcome back to Rob Skew Music. In today's video, I'm going to do another Let's Get Physical Media, where I show you some of the items that I've been able to collect in the last month or so. Now, I did the first one of these June 6th, I believe it was, and then I did another one July 2nd. Here we are. It's September 18th. So I've uh, neglected my duties, if you will, and um, I'm going to be showing you things that I've collected basically since uh, about the 4th of July. Um, however, I'm only going to go to maybe Memorial Day. I mean, Labor Day. Memorial Day. Oh, boy. I'm going to go to Labor Day, roughly. Um, <clears throat> there were some items I picked up in the last week or so, but I'm going to keep those for the next video. So let me start off with a few gift items that I received from our good friend, Robert P. Robert P. is always kind, generous, just such a, a warm-hearted, loving man, and, um, you know, just devoted family man and all-around good guy. <laughs> so he had sent me a couple items that I want to share with you, and this this will be a long video, unfortunately, so... I'm going to try to get through this rather quickly. He gave me this CD, Mercy Land, which is, I guess, a compilation of sorts. It's religious-based. Um, it's called Hymns for the Rest of Us. Uh, I know, you know a lot of people may not be into Christian music or religion sort of based songs. I am. And, um, you know, there are those who hope, like I do, that God is love. And what is love but a mother holding up a lantern waiting for her children to come home? This has a number of songs. I think I showed you the back of that already. You can pause it and look at it. But some of these songs feature the Civil Wars, Sean Mullins, uh, Buddy Miller, the Carolina Chocolate Drops, uh, Matt Kearney, uh, who else? The North Mississippi All Stars, Emmy Lou Harris. So, uh, I believe I listened to this when I first received it, but it's been so long now that I honestly don't remember. But I think it was a pretty good uh, listen. He also sent me Deep in the Groove, Rhino R and B, and this is sort of a booklet format CD. And it shows, or well, shows some of the artists and uh, tells you a bit about the artists and their catalogs. At the back, we have somewhere back here is the track listing, and I will show you that quickly if I can, if I can find it. Not for sale, by the way, for promotional use only. I didn't buy it, so it wasn't a sale. There's a track listing. And it continues on this side. Then he gave me a box set, three CDs, Ray Charles. This is the Birth of Soul, the complete Atlantic Rhythm and Blues recordings from 1952 to 1959. I'll show you that. So thank you, Robert, for those items. Much appreciated. Then I have a couple records that I actually was able to get from my good friend, my friend and yours, Joe Mayo. Uh, I purchased a couple <clears throat> that he wanted to purge from his collection because I think, although I haven't checked yet, but I'm pretty sure these albums are in better conditions than the ones that I already have. And that's why I bought these. And they are Elton John albums. And I have each of them, but like I said, they're probably not in the best condition because I bought them when they were new back in the 70s and they were well loved. <laughs> Let's put it that way. 
played often. Um, I didn't quite care about the condition of rec the records as much then as I do now. So let's go through these quickly. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Elton John. Caribou. Rock of the Westies. Don't shoot me, I'm only a piano player. And one of my favorites, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. He also gave me, after buying those, the best of the love and spoonful. And yes, this does come, come complete with, as you see there, the four color um, individual photos of John, Joe, Stephen, and Zay. Zao? Yeah. Then I also picked up, as many other people did, the uncut. Uh, I think this was the August edition with John and Yoko. This is for his, oops, Mind Games CD. And it came with this particular CD. It came with this little booklet here. Every album reviewed. An interesting read. And, of course, articles on John and Yoko. But as an unexpected and pleasant added bonus it's got an article on my one of my other favorite groups love so win-win all around i also picked up while i was in barnes and noble looking for that other uncut magazine i found kate bush essentials love kate bush and this has got all kinds of information about Kate and her albums. So, another interesting read. And then when I was up in uh, Skinny Atlas for my nephew's wedding in the beginning of August, I went into a store and I was able to pick this up at a decent price. This is Paul McCartney, on stage, off stage, and backstage. So, interesting book with all sorts of Words and pictures. And then let's get into some of the uh, some of the albums. Picked up 10 inch Claypool Claypool Lennon Delirium. I picked up 10 inch Elton John. Come down in time. This is a jazz version. If you've never heard this, seek it out and listen to it. It's fantastic. More Claypool Lennon Delirium. This is Monolith of Phobos. I got another Melanie album reissue, Old Bitch Warrior. This is on green vinyl. Eurogliders, This Island. Hazel and Alice. Not everyone's cup of tea, I, I realize. Split ends, true colors. I was kind of happy to see this one because what's cool about this album is ooh, that's almost as nice as colored vinyl, right? Beetle Brad? And look at that reflection. Woo. Rainbows. So nicely etched vinyl. Love it. Thank you, Split Ends, for that. Then I have, oh, here's one. The Beatles, 1958 to 1962. This is from Walmart. It's on red vinyl. Show you the track listing there, if I can. Strawberry Alarm Clock, The World in a Seashell. This is the album, here back there, but I prefer to show you this and the track listing. 
This is barefoot in Baltimore and um, Angry Young Man, Lady of the Lake, cool album. And, uh, and I really enjoy Strawberry Long Clock. So I was happy to find this. I picked up also the last Firefall album that I didn't have. And this is Break of Dawn. I got um, <clears throat> Elton John, Bite Your Lip, 12 inch with Kiki D on the backside, Chicago. So that's really cool to add to my Elton John collection. The Sir Douglas Quintet. This is a Border Wave. Buzz Rabin, Rabin, who is more of a country singer. This is Cross Country Cowboy. And if you're not familiar with Buzz, he wrote a little song here. Where is it? You might see it here on side two called Bukus of Blues, which every Ringo or Beatles fan knows Ringo covered. Picked up Candy Staten, who was a uh, 60s R&B artist who also... I uh, did a lot of uh, gospel music and some disco-influenced music. Her biggest hit was sort of a disco hit. I've got a couple of her albums already, so happy to get this one because this does have the hit Looking for Love on it, which I think was her biggest hit. Also picked up Hurricane Smith. And this is the album with, you know, Oh Babe, What Would You Say on it? Don't Let It Die. Who was it? He's also a producer, as people know. I picked up Red Rubber Ball, the Circles album, which has got some great hits of theirs on it. I already had a, a hit CD, but I never actually owned that album. So another album I, I've heard, enjoyed, and never actually owned until now. This one is Justin Hayward and uh, John Lodge called Blue Jays. Picked up uh, Boomtown Rats, Greatest Hits, even though I have all their albums and I have Greatest Hits on CD. I now have it on vinyl. My last Linda Ronstadt album I didn't have on vinyl, Silk Purse. BG's. Uh, Australia, actually, album. This is Monday's Rain. Some different song selections from uh, from a different track listing than some of the other albums that came out at the time. Group called Rookie. <laughs> a somewhat strange, very strange album I bought and listened to 1969 Warner Reprise Songbook. 23 different acts, 40 selections, old and new, and quite frankly, strange. I've listened to it once. I may never listen to it again. <laughs> In one of my other videos, I think it was the July one, I, I showed Andy Williams. Got Andy Williams again, born free. So, three ninety nine. The Who, it's hard with great songs on here. D didn't own the album, although I liked Athena, obviously, and um, what's the other Eminence Front? I love those songs. I picked up also on vinyl Sheena Easton, and this is Sheena's album, A Private Heaven, with Sugar Walls and uh, uh, Hard to Say It's Over. All by Myself is on here. I picked up Art Garfunkel, Scissors Cut.
picked up. Let me just take it out of here. Rolling Stones, Big Hits, High Tides, and Green Grass. That's in very nice condition. Picked up another Donovan album, like it is. I already have Sunshine Superman, so got that one. See the track listing. I picked up yet another Claypool Lennon Delirium album. South of Reality. And then I picked up Marty Robbins, Bound for Old Mexico. I also picked up some CDs, but I don't have them here, so bear with me a minute while I go and get those. Okay, I'm back. Star Seller. I'm going to go through these quick. James Taylor covers. Allison Krauss. Uh, what is this called? Windy City. The best of David Benoit, Benoit, who passed away earlier this year. The Unplugged Collection. Dollar bin item. Stevie Ray, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Friends, solos, sessions, and uh, encores. Brothers Past. Sometimes I'd pick up CDs just because it looks interesting. Blues Brothers, the definitive collection. Fun album. Leonard Skinner. This is um, recorded live. This is the Last of the Street Survivors farewell tour, which I actually saw them at Jones Beach um, this year, and I picked up this CD at Jones Beach during the concert. And we've got uh, World Party, and this is um, Goodbye Jumbo. M. Ward, Blondie, No Exit, Sarah Brightman, who some of you may be familiar with from uh, Broadway shows, someone I don't know, um, Dana Simone, that's what it means. But she signed it. So, become famous. <laughs> I've got your signature already, your autograph. David Allen Coe, 16 biggest, or yeah, biggest hits. And if you're not familiar with the, uh, I think it's the first song here. Yeah, first song. You Never Even Called Me By My Name. Great song, great added verse to it. Very funny. Johnny Mathis and Henry Mancini together. Joan Osborne. Uh, what was this called? How Sweet It Is. Paul Simon, you're the one. Again, feel free to pause these and look at the track listings anytime you want. Another dollar bin item, Lily and Madeline. Keep it together. The Little Willies. And yes, you all know one song by them. The Zach Brown Band. Welcome home. <laughs> okay. Everyone needs a little Waylon Jennings. So, here you go. 
greatest hits. John Batoff, Mark Rodney. I did a video on Batoff and Rodney, so check that out. This one is still, still what, burning? Still burning. I think that's the only album I, of theirs I didn't have. This one looked interesting, so I picked it up. The Bluebirds, Swamp Stomp. Fun, energetic band. Songs from the Material World. This is a tribute to George Harrison. Sorry for the glare. Ricky Lee Jones. The Evening of My Best Day. Cher Lloyd, who I also don't know. But again, she signed it. So. Not sure it's my type of music, but. Whatever. I picked up, uh, was this a Discovery Sampler of Rock? Two songs from a number of different groups. I also picked up a sampler of pop. Two songs from every group, uh, different groups, but also the same two songs from the uh, From Good Homes. So the first ones on here, oops, are actually the same. The Monkeys Present. At least three of the monkeys, anyway. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Live It Up. Don't ask me why I got that one, but there it is. Sting. This is Brand New Day. And then uh, a couple albums by a jazz, experimental jazz musician who I uh, met in um, 1997, and sadly he, he passed away. So, Thomas Chapin, and no, not Harry's brother. That's a different Thomas Chapin. The Thomas Chapin Trio, Insomnia. I got uh, Thomas Chapin Trio, and this one is simply called, what is this called? Nightbird song. That's Thomas in the middle. Rest in peace, buddy. And this is his uh, Radius album. And You Don't Know Me. He and I fought cancer together. Uh, I made it. Unfortunately, he didn't. But anyway, so that's it. I'm sorry this video is running so long. But thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Stay well, friends. And remember, if the music strikes a chord, let it play.